Well, I thought the Bible was written that. No, it, it is fine. So, um, yeah. Uh, slaves to submit to their Absolutely. 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 So you do, you, do, you, do you submit to your governor? Huh? Do you submit to the mayor? I don't know if I don't agree with him. Okay. Well, 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 good. So there's, there's a system of, of organization in every country. You, you submit to your leaders. You submit to your parents. Of course it does. There's some people that subjugated themselves to slavery because of their own financial situation, their own their own depravity, or they were prisoners of war. And 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 yes, it's better than death. And you are a slave right now as well. You're paying your taxes. You're not a free man or island of your own. Of course, it's a slave. I choose. I choose. You choose. So you can choose not to pay your taxes. You can choose not to pay your taxes. You, the, the government's going to put you in jail. You don't pay your taxes. Listen to me. So you think. Like, I just want to be clear. You You're a number. You have your social insurance number. You pay your taxes, and you have to follow the law. Let me speak. Let me speak. Go ahead. Okay. So you think that all the slaves that came over here unwillingly chose to do that and came over to America. That's a totally different system. It's a totally different situation. Of course it is. Because this is the first time in... No, no. Slavery... No, no. First of all, don't touch it. First of all, who are you? Don't touch me, and don't touch my stuff. I don't have to do anything with my mic. So, 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 so listen to me. There were slaveries that were wrong, and there were slaveries that are right. The slavery and the... Okay, well then, that, or, or, or then, or then there, there are systems that you have to submit to the ruler, like the one in the United States. You have to pay your taxes. You have to follow the law. You are, you are not, uh, you are a servant to the system. Okay? Yes or no, are you? 100%. Okay, so you're a slave. Can I can I answer you? So I follow the system because I have a right within said system to vote in who I think will provide and vote good laws in that I agree with. Therefore, I participate in the said system. That is. Comp can you ever escape it? Yes, you can move. You can escape not paying your taxes. Yeah, you can move to a different country. And when you move to that other country, Don't you're still going to have to submit to the laws and the governance that. there as well. In that country, yes, but so you'll always be a slave no matter where you go. It's because you buy into a social contract that you are a part of said government, and therefore you have a say in said government. Therefore, you pay taxes, and you're still a slave there. Therefore, you're not, you're a, slave. not a slave. You're a part of. You know, no matter which way. Listen, listen. Okay, look. No matter which way you spin it, you're going to be under someone, you're going to be forced to pay taxes, you're going to be subjugated to their laws, and you might like it more in one country than the other. But for some people living in places like Pakistan, Saudi Arabia, they don't have the rights that we do, and we would look at them and say, man, women are oppressed, gays are oppressed, they're oppressed because of the laws. Listen, no matter where you go, you're going to be under law, you're going to be under subjection, you're going to have to pay taxes. And that is the, the social construct of slavery that we have today. You might not see it as slavery, but it's a form of slavery. And there was a form of slavery then as well that had certain agreements and contracts. Pe people, after a certain period of time, were able to escape their slavery. A lot of uh, slaves in those days were, were dentists, were doing great things. They had, they had, oh, well, you need to study slavery in history because I have. It, Okay, so so you don't know that slaves in the first century in Roman Empire were people like dentists and were doing uh, great, great uh, things in society. Did you not know that? I do know that. Oh, so you know that now. So you know that. Slaves yeah. in the Roman Empire, slaves throughout history have been treated differently within different cultures. Isn't that just what I said? But the thing is, is we are not slaves if we choose to pay taxes. So, so, so pause for a second. So so you agreed with what I just said. I don't know. You, you just let, let's put it. You agreed with what I just said. You agreed with. Did you just agree with what I just said? No. Okay. I ask you. Go ahead. Did slaves in the Roman Empire or slaves back in America's history ever have a say in the judicial? Two different things. No. In American history, the slavery uh, actually broke a lot of the laws of God. So, so it was a different form of slavery. There, it was abusive slavery. It was actually done wrong, and and blacks were considered inhuman. Did the slavery in Roman history ever break the laws of God? Because they yes, because the Romans weren't the Romans weren't the laws of God. They they were, they were not people of God. They, but it was a better form of slavery than the African American slavery.
And then there's a biblical slavery. I have a question for you. There's a biblical slavery, there's a Roman slavery, there's different slaveries in, in, in history. But no matter which way you spin it, even in the United States today, this is another form of slavery. It's just, it just appears differently. Good form of slavery. Yeah. Like I said, we are living in a form of slavery today. The minimum, what's the minimum wage in, in, in Maryland? Uh, like twelve, fifty, fourteen dollars. Hey, okay, can you can you afford to live and buy a house and, ha and own property with twelve fifty? No, exactly. That's why I'm a liberal, and I think the liberal, way, I think the minimum wage should be higher. Okay, good. So now you're for you, no. Listen, you're forced to 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 uh, live under a system where you can't even afford to own anything, uh, and and this is at least in some forms of slavery, some forms of slavery. You were given a house, you were given a wife, you were given food, you were able to live very well, and you can you can have you can have a normal life in a sense. All you had to do was work work the cotton field, work the yard, but you still had a family, you still had a house, you still had food. Now we don't have a house, we don't have food, we're not allowed a family, and we have twelve fifty an hour, so you can't afford anything. So what wh what's better? And, and, and yet you still gotta work more than nine to five sometimes you got to work 12 to 14 hours a day so that's a form of slavery you do you agree okay you agree with me now people cannot afford housing so therefore i have to ask you would you find yourself on the right or on the left i will find i find myself on the side of god it's not on the right or the left both uh, your whole system's corrupt. i'm from i'm from canada everything in the united states is corrupt and if you're on the left and you voted biden in Biden can't even, doesn't even remember his own name. <laughs> Let me answer. Right, yeah, go ahead. So, I'm definitely not on the left, I'll tell you that. Okay, do you think housing is a human right? Do you think people should be able to house themselves and feed themselves? I think people, okay, hold, 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 hold on, okay, hold on. I, I think housing is a choice, I mean, you, it, it's, it, no, look, if people choose to live on the street, you can't force them into housing. No, no, there are people. Man, have you ever, have you ever uh, tried to help homeless people? Yes, there's people with psychological. There's some people. Yes, yes, there are some people like that. Outliers, but the ninety percent. Outliers. Okay, so good. So you're agreeing with me again. How many times do you have to deny what I say and then agree with me? So you just ask. No, no. Pause for a second. You you ask me, is there? Uh, I I you ask me, is there anybody on the street that that wants to live on the street? And I said yes. And then you ended up agreeing with me. Oh, okay, do you want him to ask me a question? Go ahead.